And of course, Minnesota uh, in Minnesota hockey is not just a game. It's a way of life and the love of the game goes beyond the ice. And that's why the Minnesota Wild support the people and the programs who support them. WCCO special correspondent Carly Zucker sat down with Whitecaps player Taylor Turnquist, who's also the girlfriend of Nico Sturm. She shares how the players' wives and girlfriends lead the mission to give back. Joining me is Taylor Turnquist. Um, uh, first of all, I want to talk about the Winter Classic. As a hockey player, you're a former hockey player. Um, talk about what it means to see a Winter Classic and to see it as a hockey player through their eyes. Yeah, it's so exciting that it's here in Minnesota. You know, growing up playing hockey in Minnesota, you you look forward to Hockey Day Minnesota and watching that Winter Classic on, on TV. So now to have it here in Minnesota and being able to go to the game at Target Field, it's just, it's so exciting. What's the one thing you're looking forward to? Like if you could pinpoint the one thing you're excited about, besides the cold, it's going to be very cold. <laughs> I know, I was just going to say, you know, I'm just excited to bundle up and be outdoors. Um, that's one of my favorite hockey memories growing up is playing on outdoor rinks so just getting all bundled bundled up and, and headed out to Target Field that's that's just the most exciting for me. Want to talk about the Wild Foundation and the work that the women behind the men right next to the men in front of the men we like that better um, the work that you guys do because it's really important to the community and I think you guys have a unique platform to use with the Wild Foundation so talk about since you've been a part of the organization what you've done. Yeah, I, I definitely think that, you know, these women don't get enough credit for all that they do in and around our community. You know, they, they're always looking for a way to give back and, you know, help those in our community. And so when I found out that the um, decorating the Christmas tree, the um, profits went to the Special Olympics, that's just like a close community for me. Um, I do work in special education, so um, these kids and that population, it just, they have a soft spot in my heart. We did some other things like um, just, you know, making tie blankets for Children's Hospital and that kind of thing. Um, and, and even just girls always looking for more opportunities, you know, texting in the group about where they can adopt a family for the holidays and, and give back that way. So I want to hear about the relationship of the girlfriends and wives on the team because that makes a big difference as well. And you were talking about how you message each other about the things that you can do. Talk about the relationships you guys have, the culture of the wives and girlfriends, and how that inspires you to get back. It's, it's so awesome. You know, we really are one big family. You know, I'm fortunate enough to have my my close family here in Minnesota, it's where I'm from, but you know, most of the girls are from all over the place. And so everybody has each other's back. And I think when we come together as a group, the things that we can do to, you know, change the lives of those around us, it's pretty incredible. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. They're doing some good work. Some of the teams that the Wild Foundation partners with will have a chance to take part in the Winter Classic. The NHL made some small rinks in the outfield for them to skate on during intermissions.